And I like to think that I live my life somewhere between, like, Jesus take the wheel and bitch try me not. And today, everybody was just leaning more towards the bitch try me not. And I don't know if it was them or if it was just me. What's up, YouTube family? Long time no talk, I know. But... I have been working non-stop. Like, every time I leave the house, Theo says I keep leaving him. Tugs at your heartstrings, but, I mean, it's work. I got to go to work. So, right now, I'm, like, on my 15-minute break. And about to eat a good old orange. Whew, I am so tired. Like, I don't know if it's just from being out of the work game for so long, you know, since I was being a stay-at-home mom. But just like the days drag. <laughs> oh, they drag. Like, count down the minutes until I get to go home. <sighs> but okay, let me eat my orange and relax myself for these 15 minutes before I have to go back out there, deal with all these people. Good morning, guys. Oh, so, at the boys' school, I hope y'all can hear me over the heat, but I'm not turning it off because it's cold. Finally, sir, thank you. Take these kids out of these cars so these parents can hurry the hell up. Like, I got road rage early in the morning. Should have just let the boys run up the hill like originally intended. So I went up to like the drop off in the front of the school and we're mad early, like, but the cars, like they really wanted to wait for the attendant before they let their kids out of their cars. Like Thomas and Theo been hopped out while we were still waiting in line and the car in front of me, she been let out her kids, but she's dead serious on going around this damn loop, like whatever. I don't got time. Oh, Like, she had an older child, which they go in on one side of the building, and then she had a younger child where they go up a little further on the other end, so she really let out the older kids and held on to the kindergartner until like, she drove around the loop till their entrance, like, extraness. Both boys got out at the same spot for me, and they separated and went their designated ways. And uh, just holding up traffic. Next time they will run up the hill. <sighs> but it has been so hard to vlog and like record stuff with my work schedule because I really feel like I'm at work more than I'm at home. Like, I go in in the afternoon, and then I close, and by the time I get home, I just want to go to sleep. Like, that is it. That is all. Nothing else. Come on, people. We almost got to an accident. Ugh. But today, I still go in early, like it's a normal shift. Still not gonna be able to pick up the boys from school. I don't get off that early, but it won't be like when they're in bed. So, about to go home and do my little YouTube workout. That is the only time I have to get a workout in is right before I go to work. Like, just trying to make time for everything has been the hardest part. Like, I feel like I have zero time to do stuff. Like, business stuff, out the window. What business? I don't have time. Um, school stuff, who's in school? I don't have time for that either. Ugh. 
but I have managed to carve out like 10 minutes to do a little YouTube workout in the mornings before I get dressed for work. And then today I'll be able to get more stuff done because I get off at 4.30 so it'll still be somewhat daylight out. And then tomorrow I have the day off and then I work Wednesday and then I have the day off Thursday. I hate, I hate split days off but whatever. I work six days straight so this day off is wanted so bad. But alright, we're about to go in the house and get our workout on and I can finish my coffee. Okay, so I'm back in the house now. Um, and we're about to get our good old workout on. First, I had to clean up the living room because, oh boy, it was just everything everywhere. Like this weekend, I had to work. So it was just Thomas and the boys at home. And when I say they don't give a damn, they, they don't give a damn, like at all about anything. Just everything everywhere. So I had to do some vacuuming and pick some stuff up, throw some stuff in the washing machine, like... But now, let me get my little 15 minute workout in. Because I really feel like it's going to be the only thing that I get to do for me today. And this is the workout I'm going to be doing. Mr. London's, what is this? The FUPA gone in two weeks. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Thank God for YouTube workouts because they really come in handy. I haven't been to the gym in so long. And Thanksgiving, I feel like Thanksgiving plus eating all the leftovers, I just feel like I've gained at least 15. So, all right, let me stop talking and get into this workout before I end up being late for work. Here we are, 15 minutes later. Whew, that's tight. Oh, but now it's like 7.30-ish. I don't even really know, let me check the time. 7.45. Um, I have to be in the work at nine. Y'all, like, you ever realize, like, you never know how far out of shape you are until you try to get in shape? Oh, mercy. Um, But now it's time for me to go pick out something to wear. And for this job, like, it's normally just jeans and a t-shirt because I wore my um champion outfit one time. And... They were like, oh, it's fine for today, but technically that counts as athletic wear, and apparently athletic wear is frowned upon in the workplace. So, I don't know, I guess I would have to wear it separately, but then why buy a set if you have to wear it separately? Like, that don't make no sense, but whatever. So I'm going to go find something to wear, and if you've noticed, I still haven't caught my breath fully from that. It was only 15 minutes, y'all. And for like three of the 15, he was talking. <sighs> I gotta do better. Um, so yeah, let me go get dressed and get myself together so that I can head on out to this job. <sighs> the sun is doing the most right now, but I'm not gonna lie, it feels so good. Oh. Work is done. I'm done. And I actually get to leave when the sun is still out and it's still warm. And not freezing cold and time to go to bed. Ugh. Today was something else. Like, 
it was it was a lot like a whole a hell of a lot and i like to think that i live my life somewhere between like jesus take the wheel and bitch try me not and today everybody was just leaning more towards the bitch try me not and i don't know if it was them or if it was just me and my attitude but uh, like my ears started hurting out of nowhere like i feel like i have a an ear infection and if this is what little kids go through like this pain and that's why they cry all the time i understand it now like oh my gosh this hurts so bad but i'm gonna go home and take out my Miss Sealy braids that I've had in for two days. Because I washed my hair over the weekend. And since I got out early today and then tomorrow I have off. I'm going to try and put some um, spring twists in my hair. We'll see how that goes. I already ordered the hair from Amazon. It finally came like yesterday. So I'm going to put that in. So that I won't have to worry about my hair at, at least for a good month if I manage to make them look right. But all right, let me go home, see my Rugrats. Good morning, Baltimore. Well, is, we're, I don't know why I just did that. We're not in Baltimore, but last night I was watching, um, what's that movie, Hairspray, while I was doing my hair, and so it's just been on my mind all morning. Like, it's how I woke up the boys. It, it's just, sorry won't ha ever happen again but I have like a little bit like seven maybe five something like that more twists to do and then I can go on about my business do some Christmas shopping yeah because I really haven't I've been slacking on that even though most most of it's going to get ordered but just like a few things I just want to pick up in store and mostly I just want to go to the store because I feel like I've just been at work, at work, at work, and then today's my first day off in six days, and I just need to do something that's not in this house, like see other people outside in the atmosphere, like in the world. So yeah, let me finish these twists so that I can put on some clothes and get cute, you know, even though it don't really matter. It's like no point in putting on makeup because the mask covers up to this much. So unless I'm going to do like from here up, it's, just, it's pointless. Like, I can't even wear, like, your cute lipsticks. Because then it gets all in the mask. Like, <sighs> this situation is messing up a lot of stuff. But, all right. Finish these twists. Get cute so that we can go to the store. And just, like, I guess party and bullshit on my day off. later it's now 10 41 i did not intend to stay in the house this long like i only had like 10 more twists that i had to put in i didn't expect it to take that long but it did so here we are all finished now i'm going to run upstairs get dressed and then try to go do something 
until I have to go pick up the boys from school because I did promise them that I would pick them up from school. Like I'm telling you, nobody knows how to guilt trip you like your kids. All right, let me stop talking and go get dressed. Okay, guys, so we're back in the house. Ooh, let me take my mask off. Hold up. Um, I didn't pull out my camera while I was in the stores because I was just enjoying shopping by myself and just, yeah, being by myself with myself and one with me. So, sorry, I didn't take you guys in the store. But let me show y'all what I got. Okay, so Fort Carson has its own thrift store on base, which is super convenient and very nice. They oftentimes have some very good things from there. I got Theo's dresser from in there, um, our desk from in there, also our desk chair from in there. So they do have some really nice things. So I got these two uh, candlesticks, which I think are really pretty, mostly because I love gold. It's my favorite color, if you guys didn't know. But I got these, and this one was $4 and this one was $3. And then also with this um, thrift store on base, if you sign up to be a part of like their little club, I guess you could call it. Like I tried to do air quotes, but this thing is big. But it's like, I think it's like the military spouse club or something like that. They have a Facebook page. But listen, you pay like $15 and it gives you a little um, card, like discount card. So every time you go, you get 20% off of whatever you buy if you show them your little card. But it's nice. You can like volunteer. They do a whole bunch of stuff. They have luncheons. Like it's a, it's a little club. So you pay $15, you join the club and you get 20% off. So $7, yeah. Okay, four and three. I had to check my math, y'all. Math is hard. So $7 for this plus my 20% off. Okay, so then I went to another thrift store that I found. And like, shout out to my mama for teaching me about thrift stores. Because all you have to do is ask. And you walk into the thrift store and you will receive. I had just talked to my mom about how I needed to get the boys some like winter stuff because yes they have a winter coat but everybody talks about how like sometimes in Colorado you get dumped on by the snow and you it goes from like being just a few inches to where you can really just be snowed in kind of a situation so Dio has snow pants but they're Tom Tom's old snow pants so I need to get Tom some new snow pants because kids grow and so Went into the thrift store and first rack I looked on, size 10, snow pants for my baby. Like, I asked and the thrift store blessed me. So, he's got some snow pants. They even match his coat. Like, tell me God ain't good. He be looking out for me. Just looking out for me. So, bam, snow pants. And these were, where's the tag? $8.99 plus the good old 10% off for military. So, yay. But I'm mad I didn't go yesterday because this particular thrift store, which is why it is my favorite thrift store, has military Mondays. So they'll do four colors. If you guys don't know anything about thrift stores, thrift stores price their items by color on the little um, sales tag. And on certain days, certain sales tags will be 50% off. But on Military Mondays, four tags, four different colors are 50% off. And I love everything about that. Like today was Senior Tuesday. So there, it was four colors off for seniors, 55 and up. So they, they have different things, but you still get to use your military discount. You just don't get 50% off. You just get 10. But listen, 10% off is better than no percent off. So yay, snow pants. And then I stepped into their little like Christmas section. This is at the second thrift store again. It's called the Ark. Yeah, Ark Thrift Store. So then I just got a little shirt for myself. It says, slay my name, slay my name. Thought it was cute. 
So in, on top of that, my job is having an ugly Christmas sweater potluck next week. So I just needed something to wear because all my ugly Christmas sweaters are in New Jersey because we would do that for like Thanksgiving at the end of Thanksgiving dinner. Everybody would break out their ugly Christmas sweater and we would have a contest. But again, y'all remember we didn't go home for Thanksgiving. So um, I got this sweatshirt. It's not a sweater, it's a sweatshirt, but it says naughty is the new nice. And I just thought that was really cute with some black jeans to put on it it's cute and then as I was walking out this was the thing that got me was I saw on a hanger like this Santa coat well jacket really so I was thinking that I would wear the sweater and then instead of my regular coat do this coat and then, you know, the Santa hat and all that stuff. Like, I thought this was a cute little outfit. Like, the skeleton's dressed up like Santa. I'm dressed up like Santa. I, I thought that was perfect. So, yes. All from the art thrift store. And, of course, I'm going to wash it first before I put it on my body. Because if you know, you know. So, that's everything from the thrift stores. And now, let's get into the stuff I got from Dollar Tree. Okay, so the first thing I got from Dollar Tree was a tree topper because that is the one thing that our tree is missing. I had bought another tree topper from Walmart last year for this year, but the kind of tree we have, it's not compatible with that tree topper. So just pick this one up from Dollar Tree. It's really cute. I'm mad that glitter is dropping everywhere, but whatever. Ugh, it's just gonna be sitting up there. So tree topper. And then I got some stocking stuffer stuff for the boys' stockings. So I got them some Santa Claus chocolates along with Rudolph. And Theo really likes walruses. So drop that in each one of their stockings. And then just some um, chocolate candies that looks like little coins, like if you know what these are, that's what they are. The chocolate coins, there we go, to drop into their stockings. Um, I was trying to like get them some other kind of candies, but a lot of them were made with peanut butter and Tom Tom has a peanut butter allergy and the candy didn't say exactly which ones were peanut butter and which ones weren't. So I wasn't even about to take that chance. So I just went with the chocolate coins and they'll be satisfied. It's sugar, it's candy, they'll be happy. And then, also to go into their stockings, got them some coloring books. Theo is really into Paw Patrol. They didn't have any dinosaur ones or I would have got him a dinosaur, but he also likes Paw Patrol. So he got Paw Patrol and then to match his superhero bedroom, I got Tom Tom a superhero book because he acts like he doesn't like it, like he doesn't want me to tell his little friends, but the boy likes coloring books. Like I be trying to tell him like, don't hide who you are for other people. If you like the color, boy, you go ahead and color. But yeah, I got him an Avengers coloring book. And it's really cute because it's like made for Christmas. It has snowflakes all over it and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much the extent of the Christmas theme is the snowflakes on the cover. But whatever. To go on top of those candelabras that I showed you guys in the beginning. Well, not candelabras, but candlestick holders. <laughs> oh yeah, candlesticks. Yeah, there we go, candlesticks. I got these candles and I got two of them, but I can't find the other one in the bag right now. I may have come out in the car in the trunk. But they are marshmallow flavor and they smell so good. Like I can't wait to burn them. Uh, actually, I may not burn them, but whatever. It's marshmallow and it smells really good. So that'll go on top of the gold and black candle holders. I just have to find a place in the house to put them where my children won't touch them and it'll be protective and just like nice and beautiful and decorative like I imagined in my mind. Okay, and so lastly, from Art Thrift Store, I forgot I had this for a second. I got this little, um, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, yeah, this. 
If you know what the name for this is, please put it in the comments down below because I can't think of what this exactly is called. But I got this because my thinking is I want to make a s'mores bar and I've seen it on Pinterest and like if you go on YouTube and type in the search bar, it's DIY s'mores bar, like 511 videos is going to pop up. But I really want to make one so you like put the stones and stuff inside and then you get um, Bunsen burners. I think that's what they're called. Like the little candles that go underneath your catering trays to warm your food. You put those in there and then you can just take a skewer and heat up your marshmallow and then put it on your graham cracker with your chocolate. So that is the reasoning behind my purchase for this because I really want to make one. So I just now have to get the Bunsen burners. I really hope that's what they're called. I really hope so. But y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and last thing from Dollar Tree, I got these, this little plastic picture frame kind of thing. And I got it because I wanna make a chore chart. So I'm gonna go on my computer, go into Excel, make up a little chart with like our names and the chores and who's doing what, when, where, how, like all of that. So we can go in here and every day that you do it, Take a dry erase marker, check it. Like, and then if you do your chores and you behave and you get all the checks, then my kids will get a prize because they asked me for allowance the other day. And honestly, I laughed and denied them because they break so much of my stuff that they owe me money. Like they're in arrears already. So to give them money when they owe me money, I just, it didn't make sense to me. But my husband said that that's, wrong and that's not how it should work and that it'll teach them work ethic whatever listen so they're not gonna get my money for free though so they're gonna have to do some chores so i'm gonna make a chore chart have it out somewhere in the open so that they can see what they need to do and then i can know if they did it because i'm the only person who can check off on this board only parents no kids i don't want to hear Oh, I did clean the bathroom and you gave yourself a check. No, I'm going to check it. So, got this for our chore chart. And we'll just sit it out someplace where everybody will be able to see it. Because everybody's going to get chores. From the biggest to the smallest, adult to child, everybody's going to do chores. Because I am not a mate. Like, I am not a mate. And I'm going off on a rant right now. So, let me step off my soapbox. <laughs> But okay, guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Can I take you there? Bye.